Hello, you are welcome. Let's look at the two ways to solve this problem. When we have n truth of x, here we can write this as x raised to power 1 over n. And from what is given here, it means that we can write this as minus a raised to power 1 over a now equals to 4 on this side. And from here, let's remove this one over here. It implies we multiply both power by a. So we have minus a raised to power 1 over a multiplied by a here. Then equals to also 4 raised to power a on this side. Which implies that here, this multiplies and a cancel each other. So we are left with minus a which is equals to 4 raised to power a. From here, let's divide both sides by 4 raised to power a. So we have this side by 4 raised to power a. And also this side by 4 raised to power a. Here, 4 raised to power a, we cancel out. We are left with 1. Then, here we can rewrite this as minus a times 1 over 4 raised to power a now equals to 1 from here and also applying the law of indices when we have 1 over a raised to power n this is same thing as a raised to power minus n so here we can write this as minus a times 4 raised to power minus a now equals to 1 from here and from what we have here, we can write 4 as from where we have exponent ln a equals to a, we can write 4 as exponent ln 4 and that will be equals to 4. So applying what we have here, it implies that here we have minus a exponent ln 4 then multiply by minus a here equals to 1 and from here we are interested in using the w lambda function lambda w function when we have w alpha exponent alpha here this will be equals to alpha here the exponent the power here and the coefficient here are the same so it implies here that we need to make this power to look like this coefficient. Now from here, this is same thing as minus a exponent minus a ln 4 equals to 1. Now the difference here is that we have ln 4 up here. Then to make this one have ln 4 as well, let's multiply through here by ln 4. Then this will become minus a ln 4. Then exponent minus a ln 4. And on this side we have 1 times ln 4. And that will give us ln 4. If you are enjoying this class, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Now let's apply the W Lambert function on both sides. Then here we have W into minus a ln 4. Then exponent minus a ln 4 here equals to here also we have w into ln 4 here. And when we follow this pattern here, what we have here we reduce to minus a ln 4, which is equals to here we have w into ln 4. Then from here we can rewrite this as minus a ln 4 now equals to w into ln 2 square we can write here 4 as 2 square that is from here we apply the power law and uh, we have minus a ln 4 on this side now equals to w into 2 ln 4 ln 2 here left 
and uh, also here two here can be written as exponent ln 2 same thing as 2 which implies that here we have minus a ln 4 now equals to w into let's write this ln 2 first then 2 now written as exponent ln 2 from here and when we look at the w function we have which is w alpha exponent alpha same thing as alpha from here it implies that the power and the coefficient here are the same so it implies that here we simply be ln2 and we have minus a ln4 we now be equals to ln2 and from here as well we can write for here as two squares so we have minus a ln2 square equals to ln2 from here and also applying the power law here 2 comes here we have minus 2a ln2 now now equals to ln2 now divide through by ln2 here ln2 we cancel here we have minus 2a also ln2 divided by ln2 we have 1 then here to get a divide both side by minus 2 and minus 2 cancel out here we have a now equals to minus 1 over 2 so we have the value of a as minus 1 over 2 then let's use another method from what we have here which is also written as minus a raised to power 1 over a which is equals to 4 now let's represent 1 over a here with a letter so let's 1 over a be equals to minus x then it implies that a here will be equals to when we take the reciprocal on both sides a will be equals to minus 1 over x and also when we multiply both sides by minus minus a now will now be equals to 1 over x so now let's apply this change of variables here to what we have then here we can write minus a here as 1 over x so we have 1 over x now raised to power here 1 over a here we can write it as minus x raised to power minus x now equals to 4 from there and also from what we have here we can write this as x raised to power minus 1 then raised to power minus x now equals to 4 on this side then when this power multiplies from the law of indices minus times minus become plus so we have x raised to power x here now equals to 4 which we can write as 2 raised to power 2 now clearly from here we discover that x will be equals to 2 from here then since we are finding here we can recall that from this place here we have a to be equals to minus 1 over x so we now have since a equals to minus 1 over x therefore a equals to minus 1 over 2 which is same as what we have in the first method so thank you for watching subscribe for more exciting videos and turn on the notification bell see you next class and bye for now